hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again after a long time so today in this video i'm going to give you a solution uh, for example you might be facing this kind of issue where you are getting visual studio sql server error like our network related instance uh, establishing the connection error server was not found or not accessible so all that kind of stuff I had spent like around a month to figure out this solution and finally I got the solution and I want to share with you so bear with me guys so as you can see in my visual studio uh, you can see all these databases are working correctly for me because I had applied this solution and for you in order to help you to in order to apply this solution First of all, let me show you one of the articles that was posted by Microsoft officially. So here, the generally the problem was with the operating system's uh, disk sector error. So I will open this uh, article. I will share this link in the YouTube description so you can easily paste and get the solution. So as you as we go down, so they had given uh, some of the solution first one was to using registry editor so it's quite complicated for some of you so i will give you the another solution which is command prompt for that instance just uh, type on cmd just run this as administrator after that simply copy this and paste this command and hit enter i would recommend you to restart your device after this process then uh, just open this command prompt once again and let me take out my notes i guess yeah so try to create this instance first of all my sql local dv i will give you these commands also just copy the other one click on start and here your local db instance has been created after that you should try to connect your database if you are still having the issue uh, so you should first uh, like uh, delete this instance same uh, instance like uh, you know rather than click click on delete so right now it's already been using so for example let me first uh, stop and let me so it's had been deleted so right now just uh, start from fresh just create this instance then start this instance that's it and you will be able to connect that sql server from here just select the local this instance and click on connect and you will be able to connect without having that annoying error popping up so guys if you are, are having any issues uh, just uh, drop your comments in the comment section and i will try to figure out the solution for you and thanks for watching this video for today have a good one guys